After a lengthy absence, Fisker Automotive is looking to unsettle the automobile waters with a sizzling all-electric car called the Fisker Ocean SUV. The name doesn't exactly strike a chord like some of the other cars in its class would, but this big fish is coming with a lot of perks that would make it a top choice among consumers. Join us in this video as we take a sneak peek at the Fisker Ocean Electric SUV. Still, in this video we'll be telling you about a special lease package that will give you access to this car without owning it. Let's get into it. Competition within the electric SUV market is tough, with big players like the Tesla Model Y, Audi e-tron, Kia EV6, Hyundai Ioniq 5, and the rest of them dominating the space. To fight off this stiff competition, the Ocean would be counting on the expertise and experience of its founder Henrik Fisker, who has had stints with BMW and Aston Martin in the past. Aside from his working experience with these companies, Henrik Fisker is one man who should know a thing or two about electric cars and how to market them. His first attempt as a car manufacturer was in 2008 when he unveiled the Fisker Karma at the North American International Auto Show. It was a luxury plug-in hybrid electric vehicle that promised to change the face of the game. However, just over 2,000 Karmas were sold as the project was abandoned in 2012, and the company's manufacturing plant was auctioned to Wangsang Group, a Chinese auto parts conglomerate. Safe to say, his first attempt didn't go as planned. Interestingly, Henrik held onto the naming and image rights for the Fisker brand, and he's looking to relaunch an assault on the automotive market. Will he be successful at the second time of asking? Right now, it's probably too early to draw conclusions. But we bet the over 30,000 customers who have pre-ordered the Ocean SUV believe so. Given his involvement in the design of the BMW Z8 and Aston Martin DB9, you'd expect Henrik Fisker to make his mark on the Fisker Ocean SUV, and he did. We're not sure if it's deliberate, but the Ocean's wide and hefty stance reminds us of the Range Rover Evoque and the Kia Soul. The Fisker has a minimalist exterior design, but not in a bad way. If anything, it makes you curious about what to expect from the car's interior. The front wears a bold look. However, it carries some carefully arranged ultra-slim details as well, like the razor-thin light strip that links both headlights, the Fisker Ocean logo in front, and the LED taillights at the rear. In contrast, the massive 20-inch standard or 22-inch optional alloy wheels would be immediately noticeable. We like the sleek hood lines as well, you could say they're deceptive, but they amplify the all-round aesthetics of the car. However, the irony is that the Ocean SUV will be built without a front storage. Fisker says this compartment is not exactly used by most EV owners, so there was no need to go over and beyond to install one. It also makes sense when you consider that the Ocean will be a front-wheel drive car, although customers who want that extra level of performance will get an all-wheel drive option, but for more money of course. We know there will be storage space at the rear, but Fisker doesn't say how big it would be. The indicator lights are quite unique as well, and to be honest, they further add to the appeal of this vehicle. The Fisker Ocean SUV is a self-acclaimed sustainable vehicle, and it's clear to see why. The interior is lined with vegan materials, including old t-shirts, reclaimed fishing nets, and recycled plastic bottles. It's quite a relief that none of these materials look like their original form. Generally, the cabin has a minimalist design, but there are just about enough tech gadgets and features to tickle your fancy. One of them is the ultra-large multi-dimensional Revolve infotainment display screen which supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This screen regulates most of the in-car features, but more impressively, it can be used in control or Hollywood mode, depending on the driving condition. Landscape mode only works when the car is parked, so we know it will probably be used to watch movies while you're charging. Unfortunately, in a bid to keep the entry price down, owners of the base model will not have access to this luxury. Well, they can take solace in the fact that a rearview mirror with a digital camera feed, a power-adjustable steering column, and a power rear liftgate will be available across all variants. The absence of a transmission tunnel means more space for passengers at the rear seat to play with, and they will get to enjoy better leg and headroom as well, still at the rear. There are small display screens for passengers to regulate climate and get a bite of the entertainment when the car is in limo mode. We particularly love the sleek dashboard. It blends well with the slim 9.8-inch digital cluster screen and the flat-bottom steering wheel. Additionally, the Ocean SUV will feature Fisker Intelligent Pilot, 
advanced driver assist system, and high-end connectivity. Over-the-air updates will be available as well. We cannot possibly forget the retractable solar sky panoramic roof. On average, the energy generated from the solar panels can supply an additional range of 2,000 miles. The output will probably be less if you live in a cold climate like Glasgow or Manchester, but owners in sunny areas like Arizona or Texas will be able to take full advantage of this roof. Impressively, the Fisker Ocean SUV comes with a fascinating feature called the California Mode. This allows you to retract the roof and drop down all the windows at the same time. Fisker is offering doggy windows which were designed to let in enough air for your pets while keeping them confined within the car. Fisker says a three-row variant of the all-electric Ocean SUV will be introduced sometime in 2024. But in the meantime, this crossover will accommodate five adults, two in front and three at the back. Before we explore the Ocean's trim levels and powertrain options, if you've made it this far, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. The Fisker Ocean SUV will be offered in several trims. The Fisker Ocean Sport, Fisker Ocean Ultra, Fisker Ocean Extreme, and the Fisker Ocean One. Pricing for the Fisker Ocean Sport, which is the base model, is pegged at $37,499, before federal and state tax credits. That's a bargain by all standards. However, some key features like the rotating infotainment screen and fancy rooftop are excluded from this variant. The Ocean will set you back by at least $49,999, while the Fisker Extreme model goes for $68,999. Only 5,000 samples of this top trim model will be produced. Actually, those 5,000 units we hear have been spoken for already, and if you don't feel like buying it outright, or probably you need a couple of personal test sessions to decide whether you're willing to buy it or not. Fisker is offering a special package that allows you to lease the Ocean SUV for only $379 per month, excluding the initial deposit and activation fee of $2,999. The Fisker Ocean SUV offers premium performance across board. The Sport trim revs a maximum power output of 275 horsepower and a 0 to 60 time of 6.9 seconds. And at the top of the chain, the Fisker Ocean Extreme accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds, thanks to its peak output of 550 horsepower. There are basically two battery choices for potential ocean owners. Lithium-ion phosphate battery cells will be used in the ocean sports, while nickel-manganese cobalt cell battery packs will be stuffed into the Ocean Ultra and Ocean Extreme. Both batteries will be supplied by Chinese battery giant cattle. In addition, silicon carbide inverters will be installed as a standard option for all models, meaning the Ocean EV will have a longer driving range. We know well enough that range is a deal breaker for most EV buyers, but that wouldn't be a problem with the Ocean SUV in fact. Fisker says this car will offer more driving range than any other electric vehicle in the world. We cannot confirm or deny this at the moment. But what we do know is that the front-wheel drive, single-motor Fisker Ocean Sport will have a range of 250 miles. The higher trims, which include the Fisker Ocean Ultra and Fisker Ocean Extreme, will have dual motors and an all-wheel drive setup, giving them a potential driving range of 340 miles and 350 miles, respectively. Opting for the NMC pack will push up the driving range to 390 miles after a single charge. We know that this bulky SUV will be made at the independent Magnastair car manufacturing factory in Austria. However, the automaker aims to sell over 1 million samples across Europe and North America. That's some big dream for a new kid on the block like Fisker, considering the level of competition in the SUV category. But we're quite hopeful that this crossover won't be a pushover. What's your opinion about the Fisker Ocean SUV? Let us know in the comment section. Be sure to check out this video over here.